Hey groupies, welcome back to Formal Therapy. I'm the video channel producer, and today we are checking out One by Samuel. Samuel had a great comeback song with Candy, so I'm excited to check this out. I have no other things I wanna say until after the reaction, so let's get into it. But before we actually do, I just wanna say this video is brought to you by our final Teespring merch sale. Go ahead and get any of our favorite designs at teespring.com slash store slash final sale. Sale ends this Saturday, so get them while you can. Let's get into the reaction. This is your Formal Therapy. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Oh, fuck, what? Ten out of ten. Yo, this shit is... Oh my god. Oh my god, is he wearing like giant shoulder pads? Oh my god! It's like 80s fashion, like giant shoulder pads. Oh, he's got like a futuristic neo new romantics vibe to him. That sounded like trance too. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I did see that Idun was in this. Oh my god, yes. His rap. Oh, it's a great blend. Idun's voice goes really well with Dark Songs, as I found out recently with She's Gone. Oh my god, I love this song so much. I love that background too. I'm just now appreciating it where it's like they're all silhouetted right here and there's the dark purple clouds. You know, sometimes you live your life and then you come across a song and you realize, I didn't know I needed this song in my life. That's this song. Wow, Samuel did not fuck around. Like, wow. I thought Candy was good. Oh my God. Okay, um, Samuel is really on track to becoming like a teen heartthrob in Korea. Really, he's in a great position for it. Uh, I said it with Candy. Candy, it reminded me a lot of Aaron Carter. And now here, he's definitely outgrown that comparison because he is definitely an image onto himself, but he still has that teen heartthrob quality about him. And that's very rare in Korea because 
boy groups and girl groups are just all the rage. It's very rare for there to be a soloist that young, for them to be 18 heartthrob. Uh, I think the last one I really remember is IU. IU started off young, she was a soloist, and now we have Samuel, who can dance, who can sing, and who could really fucking bust a move. It had such an interesting blend of aesthetics to it. It had early 90s influences, late 80s influences. It had a weird, like, new romantics vibe, I think, with his hair and his earrings and, like, the occasional color palette. But it also had this very futuristic cyberpunk minimalistic feel because cyberpunk is very messy, but they added a minimalism to it. So this was so many different genre clashes, and yet it all worked at the same time. The music video, you know, from a production aspect, uh, you know, nothing new here, no interesting inventive camera works or anything like that, but this is mainly about visuals. The production setup here on the aesthetic set design, uh, his visual look, it was so on point. Seriously, I like I said, I love the silhouetted background with the thunderstorm in the background. That was really, really cool. I didn't really notice it until the end, but the more I saw it, the more it grew on me. Samuel with this song, like it had such a hard 80s influence. It had a fun, dark pop. 80s influence, I could almost imagine Britney Spears maybe doing a song like this. Like, I don't know, this has such a, it's, it's such a star quality song, honestly. I think for me, Samuel really sealed the deal with this. I thought, wow, Candy, he's got a lot of potential to be a really great soloist. And this one, I'm not fucking disappointed. Samuel, seriously, this was, Fantastic. This was amazing. Your choreography was phenomenal. Your singing gets better and better every time. Honestly, I had some criticisms with Samuel's debut. I thought 16 was too generic in its sound, but I feel like Samuel is really starting to find his color, really starting to find his groove. And whoever at Brave Entertainment is seriously like planning Samuel's comebacks, like you're doing a phenomenal job. Well fucking done. Uh, I'm not surprised. This is Brave Entertainment. I'm sure Brave Brothers is personally handling the song production for his title track. So yeah, this is, this is great. But guys, what did you think of One by Samuel? Do you love it as much as I did? Let me know in the comments below. Also, like I said, our Teespring word sale ends this Saturday. Go ahead and get them all you can. Go to teespring.com slash store slash final sale. Pick up your favorite design. Also, thank you to our monthly groupies. We cannot do it without you guys. If you want to join us, go to patreon.com slash formatherapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to reaction videos and a lot more. So tune in for that. However, if you can't help us out monetarily, that's completely fine. Why don't you just go ahead and click like down below. It helps us out a lot. Go ahead and click subscribe up here go ahead and get our merch down here and watch all our other videos over here